Emperor Gaoju was a Sui military commander, who led a rebellion against his former masters, seized control of the state, and founded the Tang dynasty. Gaoju was responsible for unifying China, and laying the political, social and economic foundations for one of the golden eras of Chinese history. He was born Li Yuan, and took the name of Gaoju, meaning high founder or progenitor, upon establishing the Tang dynasty in 618. The Sui dynasty had ruled China since 581 AD, but by the early 7th century, the Sui were facing lot of problems to their reign. The Sui attacked again in 612, but Gogoryeo won a resounding victory at the Battle of Salsu River. According to sources, out of the 300,000 strong Sui army, only 2,700 ever returned to China. The situation fueled by more military losses, this time to Eastern Turks, and the emperor's reputation for excessive spending. The Chinese government had taken by Li Yuan, later came to be known as Emperor Gaoju. Li Yuan was born to Li Bing, Duke of Tang, and mother Duchess de Gu. He inherited the title Duke of Tang when his father died in 582. Yuan started his career as one of Emperor Wendy's personal bodyguard, and he soon became a close favorite of both the emperor and his consort Wen Xian. In 613, Yuan was made vice president of the court of imperial insignia. His responsibilities was to send arms to the army invading Korea. Nine rebellions swept the kingdom between 613 and 614, and although all were ruthlessly put down, still Sui authority was dangerously weak in several regions. Yuan was given the task of clearing the Hotung bandits. He also managed to repel Turkic border raids there. Emperor made Yuan the military commander at Taiwan, after his exploits in Hotung, and also he set up his headquarters at Qinyang. With much of northern territories was no longer under Sui control, Yuan was encouraged by his supporters to seize power for himself. Yuan saw that the time was right for the Sui Empire to be collapsed, and so at the age of 51, he made his move and led the rebellion in 617 AD. Li Yuan first secured his northern frontier, by making a deal with the eastern Turkic Khagan, Shibi Khan, offering tribute, in return for men, horses and weapons. Convinced by a warded letter given by Yuan, Khan gave him 2,000 horses and 500 soldiers for his cause. His daughter Pyongyang sold her possessions to raise an army for him. She persuaded several other leaders to fight under her banner. She had 70,000 troops under her command. Tang army now numbered 200,000, and the capital was besieged for five weeks, and then taken in November 617 AD. Emperor Yangdi had already fled, and Yuan put young Yang Yu on the throne, in his place as a puppet emperor. Many of Yuan's followers were opposed to this, and called for their leader to make himself the emperor of a new dynasty. He sent his nephew Li Xiaogong south, and he was able to persuade the Sui cities, in modern southern Shaanxi, Sichuan and Chongqing to submit. When Yuan conquered the eastern capital of Luoyang, and Emperor Yangdi was killed, Li Yuan declared himself as emperor, becoming Emperor Gaoju of the Tang dynasty. He restored much of the institutions of Sui's first ruler, Emperor Wen, reversing a number of changes that Emperor Yang made. He appointed Yang Yu the Duke of Shi, Li Jiancheng his oldest son was named Crown Prince, while Li Shimen was made the Prince of Qin. Emperor Gaoju's rule immediately faced a major challenge from Zhu Ju, an agrarian leader who had declared himself the Emperor of Qin. During the fall, Zhu took advantage of Li Shimen's illness, to defeat an army commanded by Li Shimen and approach Chang'an. Before he could attack Chang'an, Zhu Ju died of illness, and was succeeded by his son Zhu Rengao. Li Shimen was soon able to attack Zhu Rengao at Gaoji, and forced to surrender. Gaoju was an able administrator, who surrounded himself with equally gifted advisors, then led the groundwork, on which his highly successful dynasty would stand for 300 years. Gaoju had 22 sons, but it was his second son Li Shimen, who became the successor as emperor to Zong in 626 AD. Li Shimen was not actually Gaoju's first choice, but as he murdered his elder brother, and had huge prestige from his military exploits in his father campaigns against the Sui. 
Tuzong would go on to become one of the China's most respectable emperors, and his reign became regarded as the exemplary model for all the future emperors.